Hello there, YouTubers. Uh, we're back at it again. Um, thought I'd show you the process or the progress on the um, mud bug. It's got a little body on it now. This is a uh, plywood buck form that I'm going to, uh, that I made. Um, I got to smooth it out. Uh, take the grinder and the belt sander to it, clean it up a little bit, and uh, bondo it probably. And uh, it's got a plastic seat, plastic chair I picked up uh, somewhere, don't remember where, but the bottom of it was all rusty. It's actually right there. See, there's the bottom of it. But the plastic seemed to be about the right shape. Um, I still need to uh, add a piece of pla or a 2x4 right here, um, but then I won't be able to set it on the frame and you won't be able to see it uh, all together. It's made out of just some uh, old crappy plywood I had laying around and um, uh, we cleaned up the handlebars. My son come out here with the steel wool and started polishing on those handlebars so they cleaned up a little bit cleaned up the front fender a little bit um, cleaned up the frame uh, I cut the hole in the back I think I cut the hole a little too big but um, so you can get to the gas cap I think it was a little smaller on the original one it has a lip built up here and it has a bigger lip built up here because this actually curves up it has a little whale tail on it um, probably made it go faster I would think um, the tires are flat right now but they do hold air for about five minutes they got tubes or at least one has a tube pretty sure both of them have a tube uh, the motor is uh, that's an old snowblower motor seven horse Tecumseh which I believe is what these things had on them um, I just set it up in there dropped a couple bolts in it to hold it in position give us an idea of the original motor and um, just some old junk plywood got the little screw things that hold it down so these screw down now this is just a form so uh, once I get that finished you know like I said get everything smoothed out wrapped around ground down belt sanded smooth 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 is the key then uh, I'll uh, you know uh, I said bondo it and stuff like that and then we'll be able to put a uh, um, you know layer of fiberglass and uh, you know gel coat you know and do that and get it as smooth as possible to create the negative because right now basically we have a positive um, form and then, but we need to make a negative so we'll cover that in fiberglass and gel coat once it's all nice and smooth and bondoed and everything and then we'll be able to uh, get um, a form a mold and then uh, be able to pull the part a lot of work to make one part but I guess um, according to the internet I think I'll be about the only guy that'll have a mold to make the 71 body which is pretty pretty simple body um, I showed pictures yesterday when I brought it home of what the original body looked like and maybe I'll throw another one in here when I edit it just so you guys could see that it's it's pretty similar um, to what I just created I have a feeling that these, uh, you know, MT, MTD engineers were probably doing the same thing that I'm doing and just basically had some old plywood and some screws and, and stuck it together and made, you know, made the shape and, and uh, because it, it seems to be pretty, pretty similar to what they had. Um, but like I said, the only difference is, is up in the center part here where the frame is um, this this will become a 2x4 sticking up under here probably have some screws drilled into it 
just to hold it straight. And then, um, then there'll be a piece of wood from this piece of wood to that two by four, and then from this piece of wood to that two by four. And then uh, the fiberglass will wrap down over it, cup it. And you see this little hole right here. That's an adjustment, just like one of these. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Uh, just like one of these um, little bolt things. That's what goes in there, and that holds the front of it down. Um, but I got to get some fill, put some material in here. Um, because that's got to get kind of wrapped around. Not really sure. Maybe some foam. Glue it in there. And uh, then I can contour it a little easier than plywood. Um, you know, some pink foam. And, um, but, yep, that's the, that's the old mud bug. And um, yeah, I got about four hours in it today. Uh, maybe a little more than that. Actually, probably four hours of building it. Probably another hour of kind of... Uh, I actually made a cardboard. I threw it out. I should have kept it. A uh, little cardboard template. Um, hot glue and pieces of cardboard to kind of look at it to see what it was going to look like all together. Um, so... So, yeah. There it is. Um, so, uh, well guys, if you ever come across the mud bug that doesn't have a body, um, I may have a form and might be able to make a body. We'll see how it turns out. Thanks for watching, subscribing, commenting, and, uh, we'll talk to you guys on the next time. Thanks. Bye.